So this is the this is what the back of your car will look like if you do skateboarding for 122 days. Um, I just realized I came back here and started making the video and realized we left the skateboard at the skate park yesterday. I guess that was bound to happen. But Avi's very first skateboard, he got it like 10 months old and it's not here. And there's a video on my Instagram somewhere of him riding it when he was 10 months. And he used to just go, it was before he could even walk and he would just get on one knee and kick. But for the last 122 days or whatever, uh, he's been riding a skateboard every single day. And uh, he just one day decided he wanted to ride it. And so that first skateboard that he started riding isn't in here. It's a giant, what, what people at the skate park call a fish board. Um... And the reason why he liked it is because it had big wheels. And he would just ride it on flat ground. And by big wheels, I mean these kind of wheels. And the reason why kids and people like these bigger wheels is they go over rocks and bumps better. And uh, by better, I mean you're less likely to fall off the board. So then I took him to a skateboard shop after he'd been riding for like 40 days, that big giant board. And I got him this little board that he chose. And he only rode this for a couple weeks i'd say like three or four weeks and then um i had this board lying around it was a board that crossfit used to sell on their website and um he rode this board for i want to say another three months and then we got this board and i think this is a company out of santa cruz creature and he loved this board and it also has these small wheels. And when you go into the skateboard shop, you can ask, ask them for their advice. And the skateboard shop we go into it, um, in Santa Cruz, they're super duper duper helpful. So find a skateboard shop where they're really helpful. And then finally, after Avi had been riding for 100 days, we went to the skateboard shop and we bought this board. And this board, I basically, we just went all out on it. It has these bearings in here that are $60 for all four bearings. It was the most expensive ones they have, um, and they give the best spin. If your kid's just starting, they don't necessarily want the best spin. You may, might want a slower board. And then Avi picked this grip tape out, and he picked the board out. Um, so these are, and I'll put them, line them all down next to each other so you can see the different sizes. I see a lot of kids riding this smaller size. Avi prefers the larger size. But these are all the boards he's had in the last 122 days, minus the one I think we left at the skate park yesterday. Um, I don't know the brand of this board. It says OTM on it. I don't know if that's the brand. Um, and he chose these wheels. And this, these two are what most of the boards look like that the kids ride at the skate park. And then I see a lot of the older guys riding boards with like bigger wheels and the other day when it was raining I, I I didn't want Avi riding his good skateboard in the rain because I didn't want him damaging these bearings so I had him ride this one and he didn't give me any pushback he liked it so if I had to just pick one board for a new rider I would probably pick this if it's a small person I would pick probably this creature and I would probably get these bigger wheels on it because it's easier to ride Oh, and scooters. Once your kid can stand, you should get him one of these micro scooters. You want a scooter that leans back and forth like this. You do not want one of those radio flyer scooters where it turns. No bueno. But you would be so surprised at how quickly kids can learn how to ride these and just tear it up. I mean, they can learn in just a few sessions. Skateboarding is a very, very slow process. And you basically just have to be really, really uh, patient. Um, the first sessions that I'm doing now with the three-year-olds, they usually will only skate for like two to four minutes. And Avi was like that in the beginning also. But now he skates, uh, he'll, he'll be at the park for two hours, no problem. And every day he just wants to skate more and more and more as he gets better and better. Um, what else is back here? These are elbow pads. They're in my Amazon store. You can just look on Amazon. It says uh, body procs. They're elbow pads for adults. And I use them as knee pads for Avi. I just pull them up over his pants. Loads of helmets. Loads and loads of helmets. 
um, you definitely want a helmet. A lot of people suggest that you use uh, wrist guards. Um, maybe I'm just being too cavalier, but because Avi's done jiu-jitsu for so many years and gymnastics, every time he crashes, he seems to know how to crash, and he does rolls, or he catches himself and he doesn't lock out his elbows. But um, I'll keep you posted on that.